Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Katie Marie and I'm currently on my budgeting slash debt free journey. And in today's video, we're going to be closing out my August budget. And this is, I think something that I've never done on my channel before. And if I did, I'm doing it completely different this time. So you're kind of just going to watch me attempt to close out my August budget and see how it goes. So I have my pen, my transaction notebook, a calculator. I have on the side what my bills truly were so we can figure out what the difference were, if there was any. I have my Erin Condren 7x9 monthly deluxe planner here. Again, I have this until December of 2020. So now let's open this up and go to my August budget. Take my paper clip out. Let's start with the income. So what I estimated to bring in was $1,703.90. And what I actually brought in was 1,000, sorry, I tilt my planner so I can write better. $1,703.88. So that's literally a difference of two cents. So we'll do minus two cents. And so then we will go here and fill in what my actual was. Okay, now, now we're going to my expenses, which is my bills. So my Apple storage was actually $2.99, so that is correct. So I'm going to leave that blank. Care credit was, I estimated, a $46 minimum payment, but it was actually $31. So we'll write actual as $31. So that is a difference of $15. So we'll do minus $15. So Discover, I estimated to be $102. It was actually $99. So that is a difference of $3. Or I guess it would be a plus, huh? Because I wasn't over. You guys let me know, because this is real. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so since I budgeted 46 and it was actually 31, would it be a plus of $15 or a minus of $15? And I said that 102 would be my budgeted amount. It was actually 99. So would I be a minus $3 or plus $3? I want to say it's a plus, so we'll make this a plus. I estimated my Sprint bill to be $112.49. It was actually $116.50. So that did spike up a little bit. That's a difference of $4.01. Okay, and then lastly is Xfinity. I budgeted $115.37. It was actually $115.32. So this is only a few cents different. So $115.32. So that's a six cent difference. Let's check. Oh, five cents. Okay. So we'll do here zero, zero, five. So it was $364.81 and 81 cents is what my bills actually were. Now we're going to my valuable expenses and this is where my transaction book is going to come in handy. So debt snowball, I said I was going to be 159. It was actually 192.
is a $33 increase from what I said. So we'll do here and do 33. Groceries I said was $300. So let's flip to here and calculate. Let's see. So the first transaction on 8-2 was money I had left over from the last paycheck in July. So 148.44 plus uh, 169.25 plus, let's see, was there any more grocery runs? Yes, plus 102.71 equals, I spent $420.40 on groceries. Well, actual was... $420.40, and then we'll do minus $300, which is a difference of $12.04. Rent, I said $300, it was actually $300. Spending, I said it was going to be $212. So let me calculate all of my expenses. We have... Seven dollars fifty eight cents plus thirty two dollars and forty six cents plus forty three dollars and ninety cents plus thirty five dollars plus. Twenty five plus fifty eight twenty one equals so two hundred two dollars and fifteen cents is what I spent. So nine dollars and eighty five cent difference. But we did have some unbudgeted. So on budgeted a zero, we actually had, let's see, $84.47. And that was it. So $84.47. And I do apologize if you hear my um, chair squeaking. So now let's calculate the actual. So that was $820.97. So it was actually $1,199.97. Is what I spent. So that was everything for the budget closeout. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every single time I put out a new video. Bye!